Hello and welcome back to how to convert your tub shower into a walk-in shower. This is part nine, the final part. I'm How To Bob and we got a lot of parts to put together. We're gonna start out with the faucet. This has a little ring around the back to seal it off real good. So we'll put that on and there's two screws that hold that tightly against the wall here. Put a little caulking behind it if you feel you need to, but it's got the seal rings on the back to keep it sealed off. And we just tighten those two down and I put my handle on and there is a hex head set screw that gets tightened up inside and then I can put my handle on the knob on the end of the handle there. Next I'm going to put my uh, shower head on. I'm going to use a little Teflon tape around the threads and this one's going to have a handheld shower so I put my little handheld shower holder in and tighten it down. Once I get it tightened down I can adjust it so that it'll hang correctly and screw my hose in and then I'll screw my hose into the other end of the handheld shower here and I can hang my shower head up and I'll be done with that part next I'm going to start working on the shower doors it has two side rails I'm going to put my side rail up make sure that it's good and level and then I'll mark the three holes in the side rails here should be three holes one here one here and then I'll have one at the bottom and once I get those marked I have a diamond hole saw and it comes with this little little uh, water holder if you will um, what you do is put a little bit of water in there and it continually drips the water on the diamond Bit as you cut a hole through the porcelain or ceramic whatever you're cutting through keeps it cool keeps it lubricated so once I get my hole cut in the wall here you can see this peels right off and it leaves a real nice clean hole in the wall I'm going to repeat the process for all three holes on this side then I'll put my anchor in and tap it into place get that flush against the wall here and then I can put my side rail on there's little rubber bumpers that go on the top and the bottom of the side rail for the shower door so once I get that in don't want it too tight but just get it tight enough I can put the same bumper on the bottom part of the shower rail and then in the middle there's a little guide Kind of helps guide the shower doors it goes in the uh, center hole and i'll just repeat the process put the screw in kind of tighten it up then i'm going to go back over to the front and do the same procedure drill all three holes through the tile and put in my anchors they're just little wedge anchors just kind of tap them into place make sure they're flush and repeat the process put the rubber bumpers in the top and the bottom and the guide in the middle now I've got my top rail cut and I just slide that over top of each one of my side pieces and once I get that on there there is a little clip here that holds it into place I had to drill a hole through the side rail and tighten it down so now I've got my shower doors. I can hang those on the rail. I've got my outside one. It slides real nice and easy. And then I can put my inside shower door on and go to the handles for the shower door. Put my handle on, tighten it up. Then I put the other side on and tighten it up as well. Next I'm going to take my drain cover off here because we had that rubber membrane and it'll need to be cut out. But before I do that I'm going to make sure I sweep out all the debris and any of the mortar or grout that might have got down in there. And I'm going to take my utility knife and cut three quarters of the way around. And once I get it cut three quarters of the way around the little membrane that's down in there, I'll grab a needle nose pliers and grab the end of the membrane so it doesn't fall down into the, the drain. And then I'll just cut it the rest of the way and pull it up clean off my drain cover and put it back on. Next I'm going to caulk all the way around the shower door. I like to caulk the corners of the shower as well 
And once I run the caulking bead all the way down, I'll take my finger and push it into the corner. It gets a nice round caulking seam all the way down and around. Then I put my baseboards back on. And you can see what we've got here is a finished walk-in shower, all complete. I've put my toilet back on. I've caulked around the baseboards. All that's really left to do is to paint. And I can wait about three to four days before I seal my grout. But other than that, this is how you convert a tub shower to a walk-in shower. I hope you've liked this nine-part series and find it useful. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.